Hello everyone, it's Susan Douglas Scott here, Chair of NHS Golden Jubilee and I'm here almost at the end of January. I absolutely can't believe how it's flown by and I'm wondering if, like me, you perhaps had some resolutions for January following the festive period, whether that was detoxing, cleansing your body, going on retreats or whether it was something more like veganuary and, and changing the way you eat for a month. I, I did that last year, but I didn't quite manage it this year. Whatever you decided to do, or maybe you decided to do nothing, what's important to you is, I hope, thinking about self-care going forward for the rest of 2022. And our staff and volunteers, our people in the organisation are the most important people to us and I hold each of you dear and, and hope that you are all taking that necessary self-care for your own health and well-being. Of course, as an organisation, we are we need to have a, a health and well-being strategy and I'm very proud that we've been able to produce that in a collaborative way. Because uh, for me, it's really important that we think about our health and well-being in terms of both our physical, mental and spiritual health. It's always at that triumvirate that it's going to work well in terms of giving people's lives uh, meaning, value and purpose. And that very much ties in with all the values of both the NHS and very much the values of NHS Golden Jubilee. You probably all remember that I'm an OT by profession, so over the years I've supported many people to look at how they, they deal with their overall well-being and how that fits into their lifestyle, because it has to be person-centred. So in December, we, we introduced lots of ideas to you. We asked you to step out for Christmas. I'm not going to start singing. You'll be glad to know. And the the, the way that we, we people reacted to that was absolutely brilliant in their teams. They stepped up, they did virtual North Coast 500s, they climbed Ben Nevis virtually and, and lots of other Monroes and all sorts were, were, were achieved by teams and that was fantastic. So it's about how do we hold on to that and take that kind of idea into 2022 so that you continue to look after yourself. As a disabled person, uh, me, I do gentle yoga and I might go for a little gentle stroll out by the, the seashore where I live with my ancient old dog and I can manage that. So it's, it's, it's about choosing what's right for you. But I know for some of you, you're super fit. It's about cycling, swimming, walking, running, whatever floats your boat that is the most important thing to help keep you fit and active. And as I say, retain that, that connection between who you are as yourself, what I would call your spirit, your mental well-being that deals with all the stress you might be facing at work and also in our lives and obviously our physical well-being. So keep the three of them well connected and uh, I wish you positive mental health from the bottom of my heart, fantastic spiritual health and connection with what is important to you in life and that you keep physically well too. So until we meet again, please stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you all at the end of February. Take care. Bye just now.